before we estimate the model and even before we start collecting data for estimation, we need to ensure that the model is identified. I explained the identification of factor models or CFA models in another video and path analysis models in another video. So in this video I will just go through how structural regression models are identified. The identification strategy of structural regression models or structural regression models is actually very simple if you know how confirmatory factor analysis models and path analytical models are identified. The identification is basically what we call a two-step rule. We first check that the latent variables are identified so if the confirmatory factor analysis can be meaningfully estimated. A latent variable is identified if it has three indicators or if it has two indicators and it is embedded in a larger system or two indicators and uh, one of the indicators is fixed to one and single indicator latent variables are identified if we constrain the reliability of the single indicator to a known value. The known value would be taken from existing research or we would for example we could for example set it to zero if we think that the measurement error is, is very small in the data. After that we take a look at the, uh, the latent variable part of the model. Are the relationships between the latent variables identified? And in this case it's useful to know that all recursive models are identified and that covers majority of the cases. The cases that it doesn't cover, the non-recursive models, we simply apply the identification rules from simultaneous equations in econometrics and that establishes the identification of the full model. So two-step procedure, first you apply the rules for factor analysis to identify the latent variables and then you apply the econometrics rules for simultaneous equations to identify the latent variable part of the model and that establishes that the model is fully identified.